What if we told you that a supermassive black hole might be approaching Earth right now? Yes, we said supermassive. So what makes a black hole supermassive? Well, you better prepare your minds for this one because their size can boggle the imagination. If science fiction has taught us anything, it is that we should be terrified of black holes. But as you know, these matter-eating monstrosities are real and exist out in the darkness of space. They destroy and devour anything that gets too close to them. Supermassive black holes are found only in the very center of galaxies, whereas normal black holes, also known as stellar mass black holes, form from the collapse of massive stars as their lives come to an end. A regular black hole's mass is a few times that of our sun, whereas a supermassive's mass can be a million times or more. A stellar mass, on the other hand, has a gravitational influence only on its immediate surroundings. The supermassive black hole that appears to be threatening our planet is estimated to be more than 4.1 million times the mass of the sun and a billion miles wide. Should it collide with Earth, our tiny little planet wouldn't even have a chance. The supermassive is wide-reaching, stretching across the entire galaxy at rest. This is not a case of David versus Goliath. Rather, it is more like David versus 10 billion Goliaths at once. Earth will either be consumed whole or torn apart in pieces as it is pulled inside the terrifyingly real, apocalyptic meeting of our planet. This black hole is real, not just a theory. It is currently tearing through entire stars and star systems, annihilating and or consuming everything in its path, and we are on the menu. It is hurtling toward Earth at a speed of 106, 6 PS. But it's not just a supermassive black hole hurtling toward us. It's bringing a galaxy with it. Yes, that is the Andromeda galaxy, which is only 2.7 million light years away from us. The supermassive black hole at the center of both the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies is a feature shared by all galaxies. This pair of galaxies is currently headed toward collision. Interacting or colliding galaxies are two galaxies whose gravitational fields cause a disturbance of one another. Or, to put it another way, these enormous forces are tugging at each other in a gigantic cosmic tug of war with an inevitable outcome predicted by physicist after physicist. The Andromeda Galaxy and the Milky Way Galaxy are scheduled to smash together, resulting in incredible fireworks and a cataclysm. Figuring out the inevitability of this impending galactic disaster began way back in the early 1900s astronomer Vesto Slipher measured the radial velocity of Andromeda, hoping to determine how fast Andromeda may be moving toward or away from the Earth not only did he figure out that hair-raising speed we previously mentioned, but also the fact it was heading right in our direction for the sake of. Understanding it's also worth noting he incorrectly referred to Andromeda as a nebula, but that was. Because of the limited understanding at the time back then they thought Andromeda was merely a part of the Milky Way, it was actually this very calculation by Slipher that initiated a brand new train of thought that led two astronomers to deduce that Andromeda was no mere nebula but a galaxy all its own in the decades that followed scientists understood that Andromeda and its black hole were heading towards us though it was not. Yet clear a direct collision was to put it poetically literally. Written in the stars that's because there was a key piece of knowledge missing Andromeda's sideways motion, it is surprisingly easy to measure the velocity of faraway objects, but it is much harder to determine their sideways motion the impending collision was simulated several times over the decades, but without knowing Andromeda's sideways motion, it was hard to ascertain collision certainty there was a chance it would, and there was also a chance it would drift on past us, but in 2012 astronomers. Based at the Space Telescope Science Institute, redid the prediction calculations using new data that had been collected by the Hubble Space Telescope over the course of the prior 10 years this new data allowed them to determine Andromeda's sideways motion with that final piece of information, it became clear that the collision of the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies was not just one of a few possibilities it was the only. Outcome such collisions are terrifyingly common Andromeda is believed to. 
have collided with at least one other galaxy sometime in the distant past, if not many more with two galaxies about to bump heads the collateral damage will be colossal the supermassive black holes at the center of each will find themselves dangerously close, and the gravitational chaos that ensues will quite possibly tear up every planet in our solar system and more for the longest time the common consensus was that Andromeda was two to three times larger than that of the milk meaning we were. Most certainly doom the bigger fish always wins, after all, but there may just be a sliver of hope. More recent studies suggest that the two galaxies might actually be closer in size than initially believed. In such a clash, it's not actually the case that one or both of the galaxies will be destroyed. As the two galaxies crash into each other, they may actually fuse into one giant galaxy. Something known as the elliptical galaxy dynamic friction is a process that could lead to the convergence of two black holes into one, but it could take millions of years. In the meantime, a rival black hole will continue to eat away at our galaxy, devouring everything in its path, including us. Experts predict that the Sun will not only suffer from this process, but also the planets. According to one scenario, the Sun would be drawn towards the core of the newly formed galaxy and then violently expelled, while another proposes that it will tilt too much in the direction of one of the black holes and be torn to pieces like damp cardboard. It may sound unbelievable, but supermassive black holes have crashed together before the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory Lab, or LIGO, even managed to record a single gravitational wave. Other stars may have avoided the initial crash because they appear to be too far apart to collide. But they won't exactly survive the collision and scathe. With two supermassive black holes getting that close to one another, gravitational chaos will ensue. And every star in both Andromeda and the Milky Way will be thrown into different orbits around the newly formed galactic center. Once those black holes meet and merge, Whatever is left at the end of the process will be unrecognizable to the galaxy. Construction on the site started in 1994 and took eight years to complete. Since then, the team has worked tirelessly, and much of our knowledge about supermassive black holes comes from their good work. Before 2014, as of December 2016, we had not detected a gravitational wave. However, on September 14, 2015, the LIGO team observed particularly massive gravitational waves and concluded that they were the result of the merger of two black holes, each 30 times the mass of our Sun. The collision lasted only a few hundredths of a second. But in those ephemeral moments, LEGO captured the gravitational waves and transformed them into these strange sound waves, unleashing 50 times more energy than all the stars in the observable universe. Listen to this. Music. Because these sounds resemble the harmless chirping of birds, scientists have named them chirps. When this occurs to the black holes at the center of Andromeda and the Milky Way, it is impossible to predict what will happen to every planet and star in both galaxies. But the terrifying possibility of poor little Earth being sucked into Andromeda's black hole and being reduced to nothing in the time it takes for it to blank is very real. What you just listened to was the death of two black holes and the birth of a larger new black hole. There is also another black hole theory. It's more hypothetical than the merger of the Milky Way and Andromeda, but no less amazing. One rogue scientist has claimed that our entire universe may already be inside a black hole of more scientific hypotheses regarding universal creation. The Big Bang theory remains the most accepted, but there is another one that states that the universe came into existence when a black hole opened up a parallel universe. That theory audaciously claims each black hole is a gateway to yet another dimension. There are three different ways in which a black hole can form. But the gist of all three is that colossal amounts of mass located in one spot rip a hole in the fabric of space-time. This has led to a few theoretical physicists suggesting that the Big Bang was actually a black hole opening up in a parallel dimension, thus allowing the matter that had been sucked through the portal to create our very own portal or black hole. The matter that has been cascading through the last 13.8 billion years 
might just explain why the universe is ever expanding. If this theory is valid, the Earth would technically already be in a black hole because our entire universe would be on the other side of a black hole in another universe. So if during the Milky Way Andromeda Clash Earth is to be gobbled up by the Dromeda black hole, would we find ourselves inside a black hole inside another black hole? The good news is that the Milky Way Andromeda collision is predicted to occur in 4 billion years. So the Earth is not in imminent danger of being torn apart by a black hole anytime soon or during our lifetimes. However, time is precious, and before you know it, our descendants will be frantically trying to relocate in the inevitable collision. This is the most cosmic of the Matryoshka dolls. We certainly don't want to scare anyone. If you like this video, please subscribe and enable notifications so you can be notified when a new one is released. Thank you for watching. Do you think Earth will simply find a new home in the resulting elliptical galaxy? Or will it be devoured by one of the warring black holes?